to see the invisible world, your eyes need a little help. An instrument uses curved glasses and magnifies the world around us. Let's take a closer look at this amazing instrument. Have you ever seen an instrument which is used to observe the fingerprints on a page and to study various maps? This is a device which makes things appear larger than what they actually are. It is just a simple magnifying glass, also known as a simple microscope. It consists of a biconvex lens of small focal length mounted on a wooden or a metallic frame with a handle. Let us see the principle and the working of a simple microscope. Principle When an object is placed between the first principal focus F and the optical center C of a convex lens, the rays emerging from the object do not converge. But they seem to converge at a point obtained by extending the rays backwards beyond the lens. The image obtained is erect, magnified and virtual. In such a case, the object and the image are on the same side of the lens. It is not possible to get the image on a screen. The image should be observed from the other side of the lens. Working When we bring an object closer to our eyes, there is a certain limit to which the object can be clearly seen. This limiting distance is known as the least distance of distinct vision, expressed by D. Suppose an object AB subtends an angle alpha at the eye when it is at the least distance of distinct vision D. If we try to bring the object closer than this limit, the image becomes blurred. Hence, we place a converging lens close to the eye and move the object closer than the least distance. Here, when an object lies between the lens and its principal focus, a virtual, erect and magnified image is obtained. At the least distance of distinct vision, suppose beta is the angle subtended by the image at the eye. Then the magnifying power M of a simple microscope is given by beta upon alpha. That is, the ratio of the angle subtended by the image at the eye to the angle subtended by the object at the eye, when both are at the least distance of distinct vision. Therefore, m is equal to beta upon alpha. The magnifying power can also be given as the ratio of the image size to the object size. Therefore, m is equal to a dash b dash upon a b. So the magnifying power can also be given as m is equal to cb dash upon cb. Here cb dash is equal to v and cb is equal to u. Hence m is equal to v upon u or m is equal to v multiplied by 1 upon v minus 1 upon f, which is equal to 1 minus v upon f. Also, v is equal to minus d. So, m is equal to 1 plus d upon f. Therefore, smaller the focal length, the larger is the magnifying power. To summarize, we understood that a simple microscope consists of a biconvex lens of small focal length which makes things appear larger. We have seen that when an object is placed between the focus and the optical center of a convex lens, then the image formed is erect, magnified and virtual. Then we found that the magnifying power of a simple microscope is given by the ratio of the angle subtended by the image at the eye 
to the angle subtended by the object at the eye when both are at the least distance of distinct vision. So we concluded that the smaller the focal length, the larger is the magnifying power. The magnification obtained by a simple microscope is quite small and cannot increase beyond a certain limit. How can magnification be increased? Till next time. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.